what is up guys welcome back to the channel so glad you could join in and today's gonna be the little different video I just want to I just want to kind of get people's opinions because I've been fighting with myself for a while about what I want to do as far as vehicle wise as you all know I have the Pontiac G8 which I love it was my dream car you know ever since it came out and then I was finally able to buy one and I've had a ton of fun with that car um, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for that car so it's it, it really holds a, a big place in my heart and I, I really struggle with the thought of letting it go um, but a part of me also wants something different that I've always wanted as well um, and I'm able to get it if I get rid of the G8 so I'm debating on whether to buy a Corvette or keep the G8 and just mod it out. I've got less than a year of payments left on the uh, G8, so I would probably be probably be pretty close to the same boat if I got the Corvette. Of course, I would have to go with a C6 Corvette because. Uh, the C7 just isn't in the budget right now because there is something else I want to bring to the channel once I'm done paying for the G8 and I don't want to have another four year, five year loan you know, paying on a, a C7 Corvette so I'm willing to do a C6 um Granted, I would love to have a C7. The C7 is an awesome car. But, you know, I figured once once the C8 comes out and I'm done paying off the core, or the C6, then I could probably upgrade to a C7. But I really want a car that's really going to bring... A, a, an attraction and a fan base to the channel and I feel like the G8 just isn't doing that um, you know it, it doesn't have that all effect on everyone probably probably because it is a four door you know not everybody's interested in a four door um, and, and I don't haul a lot of people around usually it's just me and Jonathan or the wifey um, I really don't you know carry a lot of people with me so there's really no you know dire need for a four door I don't take long trips and if I did you know we've got wifey's car of course it's a four door and a, the gas saver of the family so um, we would we would just take that or rent something to uh, to take a long trip somewhere, but you know I, I really need some help in persuading me on what to do. Um, I feel like GM is making it a lot harder for Pontiac owners at, when it comes to the G8 because parts are getting. A lot harder to get for that car um, and, and usually if a wrecked one comes up people are snatching them up that have G8s that are modded um, people are just snatching them up I mean as soon as they come up become available so I, I really don't want to sit and struggle with that war of finding parts and they're known they they have their own common issues although it's been a wonderful car it's only got 38,000 miles on it 
It's a 10 year old car. Um, I don't drive it much. I don't daily it. So, um, the car hasn't had really any issues. Um, but I love the car to death. Uh, I love the, I love the power, you know, but I, I know with a vet, there's more power available. And on top of that, like Corvette isn't going anywhere. You'll always be able to get parts for them. You can even get parts for, you know, as far back as the 60s for for a Corvette. So, but I'm really struggling with what I want to do. I, I feel like it's time for a change, but it's just really hard parting with the car. Um... But if you would, you know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. It's just, man, man, it's it's hard. It's hard to to, you know, let that let that go and move on. You know, we've got Jonathan's Camaro that, you know, we want to do a lot of mods to. Um, so we've created a Patreon, and if if you don't know what a Patreon is, it's a kind of a website for the channel that people can donate to. So if you guys want to donate anything to help with Jonathan's build, of course the money wouldn't be to go in my pocket because we need to keep uh, doing things to the cars in order to keep growing the channel um, but you know the link to the patreon will be down below we highly appreciate it um, but I, I just wanted to do a little different video I never come on here and do just a one on one, one, -on -one um, with you guys and and be able to interact with everyone and talk to everyone so make sure you hit the like button and, and leave some comments down below let me know what you guys think and stay tuned because we're gonna have a lot more uh, content coming to the channel just takes a little time um, but we're gonna try to stay consistent and keep bringing you guys content and continue to grow that, that's my main goal I want to keep growing and as far as production wise editing video quality and things of that sort because I'm never gonna quit the YouTube channel I, I love doing it even if I never make a dime from it you know I enjoy uh, providing that that bond between me and Jonathan because you know it all it brings us closer together and uh, you know I want to leave him with memories you know when I'm gone from this earth and he can look back on this you know and, and forever have these memories so for all the people that um, have made the comments about you know uh, I should be concerned about Jonathan's safety um, as far as racing and things of that sort but Jonathan isn't your average everyday kid he's not I mean he can jump in my my Titan and go out there and back up to my 14-foot uh, low boy, load it up with any piece of equipment that I have, and drive it to a job and do a job professionally by himself. Now, I know that's, for most people, especially, especially people that are softies, I don't know what else to call, call them, but, you know, people that people that are sheltered or was raised sheltered you know Jonathan is 
not going to be anything like that. He has his own car, and 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 like a year, he's going to be driving that car. Now, granted, I, I don't want him to go out and at high speeds and, and go wreck wreck the car and cause injury to himself. And of course, I don't want anything to happen to him when he's with me. But we're always trying to be safe as possible. We're always wearing our seat belts. Um, we're never on roads with high traffic. We're always out. We live in the country, so we're always out on country roads. And we never do too much more than the speed limit. Um, occasionally, you know, we'll go to Mexico and bend the rules a little bit, but nothing outrageous. It's not like we're out here flying 150 miles an hour, you know, putting ourselves in danger. But with that being said, this, this channel is going to continue to keep going on and keep growing regardless of what people say. But I definitely want to bring something else to the channel. Um, so... Let me know what you guys think, and if you're just joining in with us, go ahead and hit the subscription button, smash the like button, and turn on your notification bell so you'll get all of the videos and updated content as it comes out. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, um, follow us on Facebook, it'll be Fast L Pros, and you know, stay tuned on and follow us on social media because that's where we usually give people kind of the heads up on our upcoming videos and what we're going to do for the next video that's coming up. So you guys stay tuned. We appreciate you. We love you. Share us out, um, you know, to your family members, to your friends, and we're going to continue to keep bringing you great content. But everyone, God bless. Have a great evening, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. What's up, guys? Look at this. This is what I do in my pastime. I love these boys. Check them out. much as we can and there's still going to be a ton of air in there it's going to be nearly impossible to just get it out with just pouring it in there so we will have to purge the system i think for the radiator you don't have to purge it do you no you don't really have to purge that system you just start it up a few times and then just check it out yeah. that's the goon squad boys so check this out <laughs> I'm watching, I'm watching them boys, but I'm always working on our YouTube channel. Always working on our YouTube channel. All right, so we went ahead and took care of the radiator fluid there. Now we are moving on to the actual intercooler fluid, and uh, it's actually going to allow us to pour it in there as we put the funnel in there. It does press that little valve. And look, look what else we got going on right here. Y'all don't know nothing about this. Ooh wee. Mama's got that chili going. The cold front just came in. It's cold. Got, got some goodies over here. Look at that. Oh, can't see it. Hold on. Turn on some light up in here. Yeah. That's for the Titan, the Camaro, and Camaro. That's going to be some more content coming to the channel. So you guys stay tuned. Mama's out here in the garage, just chilling. Staying out of the weather. Staying out of the cold. that G8s of Houston, Texas, baby.